by weight. Um, you know, I first want to congratulate Kennesaw State. What a tough team. Uh, those guys uh, were, were very tough. And as, as everybody witnessed the last two days, uh, there, there's a reason they came out of that Florida State uh, regional. I mean, that, that was a heck of a club. And uh, those guys play hard. So I, I know it's always tough you know, for their season to end when you get this close to Omaha. And uh, I'm always sensitive to that. Uh, second, obviously, I, I'm really proud of these kids. You know, it's, uh, this was a goal they set. This is the culture that they created. And, um, you know, it's an honor as a coach to, to coach players that set the bar high and, and shoot to do great things. Um, finally, uh, it's, it's really special to do it at Jim Patterson Stadium. Um, at home in front of our fans uh, last year was 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 neat uh, when you go on the road and, and and you bond together and you show that toughness but it's not like doing it at home um, in a sea of red uh, on a red out night and uh, you know for all of our players and, and myself I had my family here and I got my older brother in here who I probably wouldn't be coaching uh, if it wasn't for my older brother so um, it was really special uh, for all of us, and um, um, like I said, this is, a, this is a fun time of the year. We're going to open it up for players. Nick, can you just talk about your weekend? I uh, was just seeing the ball well. Um, wasn't trying to do too much, kind of like what I said the other night. But um, as far as that like, home run, Coach Mack told me to be ready for that pitch. They were busting me in all, all game, and I got it. What I was looking for, and I was ready for it. You got oh. what you were looking for in terms of the fastball or the location? Fastball in, yeah, both. Just exactly what I was looking for. Did you know it was out when you hit it? Uh, I had a good feeling, but <laughs> I was running around the bags pretty fast, <laughs> just in case. What is that feeling like? Uh, it's hard to describe. Kind of like when you when you hit it, you just you make such great contact, you don't really feel anything off the bat. It's like you're swinging, it's just air. And I looked up and I saw it going, and I put my head down and started running. But it, it felt good, yeah. Can you, some guys can tell by the sound or by the feel. You said the feel was different. Is the sound different? Uh, I'm just pretty much just feel for me, like the, the occasional one that gets out of there, yeah. Cole, how, how does this feel different than last year? Is there kind of new confidence level? Um, I mean, there's there's a lot of, you know, it's a totally different team. Lost their whole week in rotation. Um, you know, had a, had a lot of older guys last year. Um, not so many young guys in the lineup compared to this year, but uh, young guys have stepped up in a major way, and I couldn't be happier for them um, to get to experience this their first year in college. Um, you know, we've really come together over the past few months as a team, and it showed on the field, and it's been a, it's been a great time. Considering what you lost from last year, when this season started, did you think this was likely or possible? I mean, it's, it's always possible with, with the culture that, that we've created here. Um, you know, everyone talks about all we lost, and we, and we did lose a ton, but a lot of people kind of forget we, we had a lot come back, too. Even guys that maybe didn't play big roles last year, um, they've been around the program a long, time, a long time and played in big games, and uh, I think that's paid off this year, too. Cole, what's it, what's it say about Louisville? Um, uh, you know, like I, like I just said, um, it's a culture we've created here um, from the players before us to the guys that are here now and the coaches, um, all the support staff. It's, it's just uh, a competitive atmosphere, and, and it pays off every day in the long run. Paul, can you talk about your evening? I mean, three hits, three RBIs, and three strikeouts on the mound. Um, you know, I just, you know, like I said earlier, um, some guys out there, um, whatever the team needs me to do, it's my last go around. Um, I just want to help the team in any way that I can, whether it's hitting defense on the mound. Um, you know, saw the ball pretty good tonight. Uh, by, by far, probably the swing everyone's going to remember is this guy's right here, though. Um, it was just a good night all around for everybody. Zach, you talked about your last two weeks. You had a little, a little bump there for a while, but the last two weeks you've just been hitting it pretty good. What's been the difference for you? Yeah, I mean, I just made a couple of adjustments and uh, started seeing the ball well. And you know, just I'm happy to be playing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> and, and for, to be a local guy going back, what's it? What's it mean for you guys to be going back? 
I mean, it's incredible. It's a, it's a privilege. Like Coach Max says, it's a privilege. As somebody who grew up here was around from 2007 when they went that year was such a big deal. How do you explain just the, the growth of the, of the program? Um, you know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, since Coach Max got here, it's obvious that the uh, our baseball program has really grown. And you know, then like like Cole was saying, the culture that uh, they created back then, you know, we're just carrying that out. <coughs> Paul, were there any lessons learned in last year's CWS going into it that, that can help you this time around? So that uh, you need to change. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Obviously, we, we didn't play the brand of baseball we had been accustomed to playing all year uh, last year, and there's there's definitely enough guys that that were on the team last year to remember that feeling um, and how horrible it was walking off the field, especially with the way that we played. Um, you know, I said it lately. It all starts with a good week of practice, um, and, and we've had that the past you know, month plus, um, just really focused on the little things and coming out and having good practice and just playing good baseball. Cole, what did the kids to show you? Oh man, that's that's probably one of the toughest kids I've ever I've ever played with. Um, you know, a lot of people don't know all the injuries he's gone through um, ever since he's been here, and he just goes out there and puts it all on the line every time he's out there. And you know, even even though he struggled tonight, man, he toughed it out in a big way and uh, kept us in the game, and that's. And, you know, he sets the tone. He's just so tough, and you, you know, you know, you're gonna get his best every night out. Zach, being in second base and being close to the mound, what's it like underneath the pile? Um, well, it hurts a little bit, <laughs> for sure. But uh, it's awesome, you know. You're just, that adrenaline's running. You get knocked in the head a couple times. You see people jumping up over you. It's it's crazy, and it's awesome. I think you said last night you. Uh, you Yeah, it was, that was my first dog pile since being here, and it was awesome. You know, uh, everybody's flying everywhere, which it's kind of crazy, but it, it's really awesome. It is something that I dream about, and it's cool that it's got to happen. Cole, talk about the, the, the atmosphere. Uh, and could you tell how loud, I mean, what's it like out there? Can you hear how loud they were getting? Oh, yeah, you can hear it. Um, you know, I said to someone earlier, that's the two greatest crowds I've ever seen since I've been here. Um, and it was awesome. It was awesome, and they're much a part of these two wins as we are. Um, and it was it was fun to play in front of. Fun to play my last two games with Jim Patterson in front of those fans.